St. Louis runs May 17th through June 15th. And to talk about it, here is Dakota Mackie McGee, an actress with the Shakespeare Festival. Good morning, Dakota. Good morning. First, let's talk about the name. Is that your married name, your maiden name? What is that? <laughs> that is my parents' uh, combination of a last name. Okay. So I'm yeah. not married. <laughs> Even, you know, no. McGraw was just trying to figure out if you were single. Oh, That's why. oh, well, I am. <laughs> so you want to you want to tack on another name on there? So when you get married, it's yes, have, right. Okay. Exactly. You All know, right. hopefully a hyphenated name so I can have four last names. Gotcha. <laughs> That'll make my children feel really great. Uh, uh, you're in from where? Where are you in from? I'm originally from Bloomington, Indiana, okay. but I went to school at Webster University sure. in the conservatory. Okay. But currently, I live in New York City. All right, good. And so you're here for the summer. Now, you are, explain to people who don't know much about the Shakespeare Festival here in St. Louis what they expect. Okay, so Shakespeare Festival St. Louis is a free outdoor um, Shakespeare show. And this year, unlike any other year, we're doing two shows. So this year we're doing Henry IV and Henry V. Um, and so the the general thing with Shakespeare Festival is you um, can bring your blanket, your picnic, food, anything you want. Your wine, crackers. Your, exactly. Your charcuterie. A- anything you want. They also have food there. Um, but you can put down... Put down your your place and set down and watch a good Shakespeare show. And it's uh, how much is this each and every night? Oh my gosh, I don't know. I've heard five thousand in general. No, I mean, how much does it cost? Oh, oh, it's it's free. Totally free. It's totally free. You right. can't beat that. I thought that. meant people. Sorry yeah, yeah, about yeah. That. No, no, you no. You cannot beat free. Wow. Especially what? with a company this awesome. Yeah, so. talk about the St. Louis Shakespeare Company because you're you've been around. You're in New York. You know a thing or two about Shakespeare festivals. Uh, what what makes the St. Louis one so special? Oh, Lord. Um, well, I mean, the fact that it is free is unlike anything else, and that is such a bonus and such um, such an amazing thing for this community. I think that's fantastic. Um, and Rick Dildine, uh, who runs the Shakespeare Festival, right. is fantastic. But there's he, something wrong with him. Oh, something, because he is really – he is making this festival. This he, he's, changing, he's changing the whole idea of this festival, and he said he wants to make it a festival, so he's doing – Shake 38, which happened earlier this year, um, or even I think it was earlier this month, where, you know, 38 different groups do all of the Shakespeare shows somewhere in St. Louis at some time. Right. Yeah. Um, So he's completely, he's trying to really, like, um, implement Shakespeare in all aspects of St. Louis. He's really incorporating art into the community, which is amazing. All right. Dakota Mackey McGee. There are some people out there who think Shakespeare, I can't get past two pages. I can't get past the first five minutes and I'm snoozing. Oh, no. Why should I go to the Shakespeare Festival here in St. Louis? Well, if you do feel that you get confused with Shakespeare Festival, Mm -hmm. at 630 before the shows, they have a green show, which um, is simple for everyone to understand from children on up. um, And they'll give you a rundown of what's happening in the shows. Um, One of the cool things I think about Shakespeare is that if we're doing our job right, you will understand it. Mm -hmm. There, it's very. This one is very physical. There's tons of battles. There's tons of um, very clear situations. Even if you can just read the body language, you will understand what's going on. Um, So before the show, they actually kind of give you like um, cliff notes. Yeah, a cliff note version. It's a cliff note. It's a very short little synopsis. A twenty minute. Mm. This is what's happening. This is what happens in the story, so you don't get lost. This is what I always wonder. How can you? It's hard enough to memorize lines as an actress, but <laughs> Shakespearean lines. How do you? It's a different language. It's actually it's a lot easier because, um, especially when Shakespeare's writing in verse, mm. um, if you memorize it incorrectly or if you miss a line or drop a line, you'll know because the verse is off. Mm. So the rhythm of the rhythm of the line will no longer make sense, and where your where your emphasis shows up will no longer make sense. Are you a Shakespearean actress only, or is this a good gig for you, or how did you come across this? <laughs> well, it's always a good gig. Um, no, I'm actually a musical theater performer. Okay, that's what I got my degree in, um, and what I've done predominantly. But I adore Shakespeare, right? And I adore working with uh, Tim O'Sell, who's the director of Henry IV, and Bruce Longworth, who's the director of Henry V. They were they were my convincing factors to come. All right. So, what do we need to know about the Shakespeare Festival this year? Where do we go? How do we get tickets? Do we need tickets? 
You don't need tickets. Don't if need you tickets. want to reserve a, a chair, which you can do if you don't like sitting on the ground, you can also bring your chair mm -hmm. if you have a nice little lawn chair. Um, but you can reserve a chair for $10 there. Um, it's at Forest Park. It's at Forest Park. It's right next to the Art Museum, um, next to Art Hill. There's a huge stage. You'll see it. There's lots of tents with um, fun colors on the top of them. And, uh, yeah. That website? Website, yes. It's uh, sfstl.com, and that will give you all of the information on what night to go, what shows are playing what night. We have two Saturdays that are doing um, Henry IV in the afternoon and Henry V at night. Mm. So you can get a double feature if you want to hang out all day. Wow. And that is the 7th and the 14th of June. May 17th through June 5th, 15th, right? Yes. Okay. And the website again? Is sfstl.com. Easy for you to say. Yeah. <laughs> uh, the thing about Shakespeare is, because I get it and I don't get it all at the, the same time, it's sort of like an acquired taste. It is. It's kind of like coffee. You don't like coffee. You don't like, All of a sudden, you're like, you know, the coffee's pretty good. It's like, you know, whiskey. You're like, I don't like whiskey. And then you have it a couple times, and all of a sudden, you're like, you know what? That whiskey's pretty good. If you can push through the initial, I don't get it. Mm -hmm. You know, if if you give it another minute or two yeah. and really try, when you get it, it's like, oh, yeah, yeah. I get it. Right? Once you start getting into the sound of it and the rhythm of it, right. I would say a good 10 minutes in. Because at first, you know, when I was learning Shakespeare, too, I mean, it was like, I don't know what's going on. And then five to ten minutes in, you're like, oh, okay. Now my 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 uh, my ear is, right. is used to it. Right. Once you sort of get it, then it's really interesting and it's yeah. really fun. Yeah. yeah. And yeah. and simple to understand, I think. Yeah. Mm. Uh, okay. So you're you're living in New York, but you're here for the summer. Yes. Uh, you have you won any award winning Shakespeare festivals on Long Island re recently? <laughs> no, huh. I should. I would love oh. to. Oh, I have. Th I got that in my. In my closet. Oh, you do? Yes. Well, I think that you guys should do a, a scene right now. I agree. I would love to do a scene, but um, uh, we got to go. <laughs> we got to get traveling. That's, oh that's your that's excuse. Serious. Okay. <laughs> I was I was expecting a little better than that. I but. know. <laughs> well, I got nothing. I'm not a very good actor. That's, that's why I'm in radio. All right. Um, that is Dakota Mackie McGee. Uh, actress and all around uh, great actress and Webster <laughs> University grad circa when did you graduate? I graduated last year. Last year. Yeah. A couple of Webster University grads here in the studio along with Andrew Dowd. Oh, nice. Who graduated right. this Woo. past weekend. Um, all right. Uh, the website, one more time for the Shakespeare Festival. Is sfstl.com. And it runs May 17th through June 15th at Forest Park. Dakota, have a good summer. Thank you so much. You, you too. 820, 830, Big 550, KT.